I love jumping my electric skateboards. But I have snapped a few decks. And it always seems to be in the same place. So I've tried a couple of different ways to reinforce it without losing too much flex, but some weren't so great. This one worked out pretty good. Let's check it out. I started off by sanding the deck with a coarse 80 grit sandpaper in the areas to be reinforced to maximize the bond with the epoxy. I covered the holes with a drop through trucks go with some tape and then filled it with Bondo so the carbon fiber wouldn't sag through in the vacuum bag. I pre-cut the twill weave carbon fiber pieces and set them to the side. Once everything was prepared and the deck was clean, I started to mix up my epoxy resin. I'm using a rubber toughened epoxy resin to give it that extra flex. Now it turns out that rubber toughened epoxy resin is extremely viscous, so it needs to be warmed before mixing. I started out with two layers of twill weave oriented in opposite directions at the ends of the deck, painting on the first coat of epoxy and stippling each layer down with the brush. Cutting the carbon fibre just over the edges of the deck so it curves in nicely in the vacuum bag. I then lay another slightly larger piece of carbon at each end to feather out the edge and reinforce the taper of the deck. Now you may want to skip the next two pieces of carbon fibre if you really want to retain that flex. But I put them on as this deck was pretty flexible already and I wanted that extra reinforcement. Two layers of twill weave at 80mm wide as a carbon fibre string. Once all my carbon fibre was laid up, trimmed up and stippled down, it was time for the peel ply. Stipple it down and trim it up. Slap on the breather cloth, whack it in the vacuum bag and let it cure at room temperature. Once it was cured, I found a well ventilated area to sand off the excess carbon fibre off the edges with the 80 grit sandpaper. I removed the tape and used a grinder to cut out the bondo, but the blade was pretty big, so I found a dremel with a cut off disc and then the sanding knob to be most effective. Once that was all done, I sanded the whole base of the deck with 80 grit, then 220 grit, then 60 grit sandpaper, then applied another coat of rubber toughened epoxy to try and fill my holes and blemishes. But even with pre-warming, this epoxy was so thick, I just could not mix it properly without collecting a lot of bubbles. Now I did manage to sand out those bubbles, but I still need to drill out the holes for the trucks. And the rubberized epoxy leaves a pretty cloudy finish. But that's okay, because next we're gonna look at making a carbon fiber battery box to cover it all up with. See you then.